want to give you a, a clue on this one assignment that I have you doing, and um, it's working with uh, the old touching up, uh, touching up old photos. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to quickly make some adjustments here, uh, working with this, and um, just to get it going. It's very dark. Um, the the steps are in the assignment. They're very easy. I think easy to to follow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take my elliptical marquee and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change this feathering up to the top to five pixels and I'm going to select this area you don't have to be exact and basically what I'm going to do is right after this I'm going to be doing a select inverse so I have the background selected and I'm going to fill this in with white. And basically what you're getting is a vignette. I'm using the edit fill command. I'm going to go up here to white. Make sure it's normal 100%. Deselect. And again, you could probably, you know, instead of being five pixels feathering, uh, you could probably go up a little bit more if you want a softer edge. So if you want to go up to 1520, that's fine. Um, and now we're going to use the adjustment layer here. Take care, it's very dark. So again, as my histogram we've seen, we're going to increase my contrast. And I want to be careful not to blow out your shadows um, and uh, your highlights. So be careful on that. You want to make sure you leave as much detail as possible. And then when we look at this, we, we see a lot of information here. Um, I'm just I'm going to go ahead and uh, quickly save this. And what happens here is we have. Um, a lot of uh, miss, um, you know, a lot, a lot of stains. We have a lot of specs that we need to take care of, and one of the new things that I like to use is the history brush to do so as the retouching tool. Um, as it says in assignments, a great way to repair service defects. And basically, what you're trying to do is you're trying to blur it. And but if you blur the whole image, you're going to lose all the details. So what we want to do is kind of watch out and and blur only the areas that are the ones that we need to affect. And so I want to do is I just want to concentrate on just show you how to use the history brush. And the history brush is over here on the left hand side. Make sure it says history brush and not art history brush. And what we're going to do is basically go in, use the history brush and the history palette. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come down to my background and I'm going to duplicate that. I don't like to always, I don't like to affect the background because you never know when you need to go back and work with this. And with the background copy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Filter Blur. I want to choose Gaussian Blur. I'm going to do about six. And as you can see when you go six everything's going blurry and that's going to go in and change a lot of the specs that are around there will disappear now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a snapshot of what you see right now and I'm going to do this by going to my history palette I'm going to click on a little triangle here I'm going to choose new snapshot you can give it a name if you want Now you have two snapshots. You have the original and that, and also the uh, one with the blur. What I want to do is I'm going to undo the blur because I don't need that. And what I want to do is I want to take a look. I'm going to zoom up on an area. You can see up here a lot of specs, especially up here at the top. What you're going to do is you got to take care of all these little specs. You got to make sure you take care of all the specs in that. So what we want to do here is I want to use the history brush to do so. But 
I'm going to tell it to blur those specs. And I have to use the history brush and the new snapshot. Remember the one I just created, blur to hide? What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that on by clicking on set to source. See how this history brush over here on the right, see how that's now selected? Now what the history brush is now going to use is it's now going to take a look at that snapshot and when I use my history brush it will go in and basically copy from that snapshot over to this image. Um, duplicated, I'm going to choose a soft edge brush and I'm also going to change the blending mode and this is a little hint in the um, uh, you, you'll find in the book also talks about it. I'm going to change the blending mode to darken here. This will avoid lighting the pixels surrounding the defects and what's going to happen is it only affects the defects. So when I click on this white speck up here it disappears. Now one of the good thing is it's only blurring the speck that you are clicking on. It doesn't blur anything that's darker. Now if you had uh, like white specks then change the lighten mode Oops, I did that backwards. If you have dark specks, like the black, bl you know, you have black specks around, then you're going to use the lighten mode to help take away that. You're going to have to go into the person's skin. See, there's a lot of black specks. See how I'm doing that? I'm going to change this back to the darken mode. I'm going to click on these white specks. And because I'm using the blurred snapshot, it's only blurring those specks, and I'm all, I'm not losing that much detail. So that's what we're talking about when we work with the history brush. Make sure you t take care of all the little specks around the image and um, the other parts that I talk about in the assignment.